More than 65 German U-boats ruled the waters off the U.S. East Coast in the Gulf of Mexico. Just about every day, columns of black smoke and orange flames of torpedoed merchant vessels filled the skies from New England to New Orleans. Explosions rattled windows in the nerves of startled coastal residents, and beaches were littered with oil, debris, and bodies. Overall, 397 ships were sunk in U.S. waters in just half a year. More than 5,000 people, including many civilians, burned to death, were crushed, drowned, or vanished into the sea. Mostly kept secret from the public, this was a crisis that embarrassed Washington, it panicked Britain, and it nearly changed the course of history. Within six months, the Allied war effort was in jeopardy, and the, east, and the waters off the U.S. East Coast were considered the most dangerous place for merchant shipping in the world. Now, the greatest concentration of these attacks occurred, uh, if the, the epicenter, if you will, occurred in the waters surrounding Cape Lookout and Cape Hatteras off the coast of North Carolina, a place long notorious as the graveyard of the Atlantic. Off the coast of North Carolina, 1,716 people perished, including some women and children. Many more victims of U-boat uh, attacks who were wounded, sunburned, and covered in oil floated for days or weeks in lifeboats on life rafts or wreckage in frigid seas, suffering excruciating hunger, fending off sharks, deliriously resisting the urge to drink seawater, while patrol planes flew overhead and ships passed right by without stopping to rescue them. A merchant sailor that I interviewed told me, he said, we had strict orders, do not stop to try to pick up any survivors because those U-boats are out there just waiting for you to stop. There was an account of a lifeboat that was launched from a torpedoed and sinking ship crowded with a dozen or more men that was found weeks later with only a lone survivor aboard. One lifeboat was found off Delaware with a three-year-old girl clinging to her dead mother. In my book, there is this haunting photograph of seven castaways on a wooden raft. This photo was taken by a Navy, uh, Nazi propaganda photographer aboard U-123, which had just torpedoed and sunk the American tanker Muskogee, 975 miles northeast of the Outer Banks. The merchant sailors, as you can see, appear forlorn and helpless as they huddle precariously on this little wooden craft. One man appears to be waving. Another is cupping his hands to his mouth as he shouts to the U-boat, perhaps asking to be taken aboard. In the center of the photo, you can see a sailor who has the grim look of a man who knows his fate, a vacant stare of resignation, while the sailor to his right seems to stare at the German camera with an un unmistakable hatred. None of those seven sailors were ever seen again. Tragically, this entire disaster that became known as the American Turkey Shoot could have been averted had we been prepared and had our naval authorities heeded the initial warnings of the British.